You will burn the Santa Blanca drug cartel to the ground, but no one will know who was holding the match. Ghost Recon Wildlands beta signups are happening right now. If you're looking to join the ghost unit and take down the Santa Blanca cartel, you don't want to go in blind. So let's comb through some of the videos and blog posts Ubisoft has released and talk about five things you definitely need to know. Number 1. Ubisoft's Biggest Map Ever Wildlands is set in Bolivia, and Ubisoft says it's the biggest world it's ever created. Thanks to a report at Polygon, we've gotten our first look at the map, and yeah, it's pretty huge. It covers 21 different regions across the country, and the 11 different biomes range from mountains to jungles to swamps to Santa Blanca encampments. With 26 different bosses to take down across the map, there's plenty of opportunity to explore and shoot. Number 2. Weapon Collection and Customization Speaking of shooting, a Yubi blog post informs us that there are 50 guns for your ghosts to unlock and equip, including some hard to find exotic weapons. Wildlands gives you, quote, two primary weapons and a secondary firearm. Assault rifles, machine guns, shotguns, and sniper rifles are just a few of the primary arms you can equip, and secondaries like pistols and compact SMGs give you an extra layer of firepower. Even better, the gunsmith is returning from Future Soldier with a bunch of new options. You can customize your guns with over a hundred attachments, like different paints, scopes, and stocks. Some of them even add new functions, like suppression or alternate firing modes. Number 3. Character Creation It's not just your guns getting the custom treatment. Ubisoft posted a customization trailer that showed off a ton of options for creating your own unique ghost look. This includes changing your face, hair, fatigues, accessories, and even tattoos. Ubisoft said in another post that, quote, killing high-value targets and completing other special in-game events can all contribute to your inventory of customization items. So as you take down Santa Blanca, your ghost will look more and more like a reflection of your personal playstyle. Number 4. Co-op Play so you've got the loadout and the look, but you can also decide how to approach Bolivia's massive world. You can go it alone, but as the UB blog confirms, taking down a whole cartel is more fun with a squad of friends who can all upgrade their own ghosts. You and your buddies can divvy up responsibilities during missions, coordinate stealth takedowns, fly everyone in a chopper, and even convoy up your vehicles for a full-on assault. Alternatively, you can play with three AI partners and synchronize your takedowns. In some ways, that might actually be better than getting trolled by your friends. Number 5. Stealth Tactics Of course, if you want to take a stealthy approach to the missions, there are plenty of tricks at your disposal. Thanks to a full mission walkthrough video from the developer, we've gotten a good look at how to stay quiet during infiltrations. There are the obvious suppressors you can toggle on and off on your weapons, but elements like the weather also come into play. Rain will obscure enemy vision and cover up the sound of footsteps. Get the drop on cartel soldiers and you can knock them out and hide the body, making one less patrol route to worry about. Future Soldier's drone is back to help you survey the area, and you can even hijack enemy vehicles to slip past checkpoints. Really, if you lose the element of surprise, that's on you. All of these features have been announced by Ubisoft, so you can expect even more information to trickle out before the game hits PS4, Xbox One, and PC on March 7th, 2017. And as I said before, if you want to play the game early, you can sign up for a chance to receive a beta code on Ubisoft's website right now. Maybe we'll see you in the field, soldier. Until then, stay tuned to GameSpot for all the latest on Ghost Recon Wildlands.